Hi, yo gamers, and uh, welcome back. Actually, you know, I've been toying around with Kabe a little recently, and I've noticed with my Singcho at C0, it's actually just as hard to, like, make Kabe the sole, like, creator of blooms. Um, cause I'm not noticing big damage from Kabe. And so I'm like, wait, are my blooms even working? No, they're not. So Kabe even still applies too much dendro for my lowly Xingqiu here. And honestly, Hydro is now becoming the new dendro for me. Like we need more Hydro characters. We have an on-field one with this man's and we have Xingqiu as the only off-field. So I would love Ayato to be a bridge between these two gaps, but uh, yeah. That's not what I'm gonna be doing in this part though. We are gonna be doing Spiral Abyss. Now, I want to give Hazo proper artifacts. <laughs> um, and so we're gonna do that a little bit in this video. Most of it is getting rid of this hat and using some of our lockbox stuff to give Hazo a crit rate hat. And yes, I know I could be farming, you know, this set for more, but you know what? If I were to get Wanderer, this this set that I would have put on Hazo will go to Wanderer anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just go through all these and sort of get rid of them. We'll try 27 for now. Don't want to make too many of these. One hat, and it wasn't even the right hat. Oh, interesting. Meh. <laughs> Pyro. Pangeo. Uh, I'll keep that one, actually, because it's funny and it has, you know, two out of the three de defense-related stats. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let us continue, I suppose. Alright, let's try this. Ah, damn. Well, it might have to do for now. Um... We'll see. Ooh, we got another EM timepiece. That's really good. Well, that kind of sucked. And I knew I wouldn't have gotten, like, you know, a lot of pieces for Hazel, but I would like to have gotten, you know, something. Because, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't need this healing bonus hat anymore. So, you know what we're going to probably do? We're probably just going to shove this hat into this, this one here. I know it's not a great idea, but you know what? It's fine. Hey look, it touched crit rate one time. I mean, it really didn't cost that much for this. It's fine. We're gonna be throwing this away anyway. I just wanna have something on Hazo so that he doesn't like completely be useless. You know, it's, don't worry about it, it's fine. I wish I had the Sacrificial Fragments leveled now. Um, cause you probably would have dealt more damage with swirls, but, uh, that's not what we're here for. Um, I'm gonna be leveling his artifacts a little bit. Um, yeah, this one is already much worse, so we're just gonna level this one and see where it goes. Aha! Defense. My favorite. Well, we have nothing right now, so we might as well invest into this. I'll get it to 16. And we'll see what happens. I probably won't invest further into Hazel until we um, get Kazuha on the horizon. Because if he is on the horizon, then there's many of things to look forward to. Okay, see, now that's not horrible. Sure, yeah, it's pretty bad. But it's not the worst thing. So we're just going to do that. Let's level this to four to see what happens. Because again, we have almost nothing. Almost nothing for animal goblets. <laughs> I don't understand why. Ugh, defense. If only we had a defense scaling a Nemo character. Yeah, we're throwing that away. That's unfortunate. Gosh, it's like not, it's not much better than this one though. I, yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna keep it. Well anyway, uh, that kind of sucked. So Mr. Hazo is probably going to suffer a little. Well, Hazo, it really sucks. It truly, really sucks. I honestly don't even know if I should even... It's fine. He'll crit every once in a while. Anyway, I, I don't really know why I wanted to take that detour before uh, Spiral Abyss, but here we are. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try out a couple of teams in uh, floor 9 and 10. You won't be seeing them because it's easy. Um, but our main goal is to get the triple stars on floor 11 because this floor screwed us up. And I think I might have to run like a Hyper Bloom style team for this section with Al Haytham and probably something with Baiju on the first half. Not sure what it's gonna be, but it'll be something. That's all I know. We'll see what happens when I get there. I haven't even thought about the teams, so I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I'm back and I played with some teams and it was cutting it close in chamber floor 10. So that kind of sucked. I will say I also got the forest regalia finally. I did the Varuna Gotha quest. Um, it didn't take too long because I knew what I needed to do for it and we ended up getting it. And luckily, I honestly don't need any other weapon except for maybe Moon Piercer. So all the other Sumeru weapons are kind of useless to me and we have the two best ones right now. And that's right, my D Luke has mailed flower now just so that he can be in burgeon teams. So if I decide to make him the on field burgeoner, which I really haven't tried much of yet, um, he sure can. I don't know to what extent, but we'll see. And with that out of the way, we now have floor 11. Now, this is a little scary because, um, yeah. I think I would probably put like some sort of like some sort of burgeon team for the second half, maybe. Because I definitely want to take um, I definitely want to take Kave down there, but also you know I would need some sort of like range in order to actually deal with uh, some of the like raptors. Yeah, the raptor guys over here. Maybe I could do like a fridge related team, something like this maybe. Pretend this is Electro. I did this team before, and it actually worked kind of well. Um, so I'm gonna try these teams, and uh, I'll be right back with Electro Traveler. Alright, let's try it. This team has a lot of uh, survivability with Kave being on field and healing himself, and a little bit of protection from Toma, and this has a lot of healing and quite a bit of boosting damage. Um, I did use Bennett, and I mean, it kind of worked, but maybe it won't. We'll see. <laughs> oh boy. Might have a little problem on our hands. Check this out. Freeze. See, I knew something like that would happen. So I gotta retry that. You know. I think I dunkled up. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try it with this team. Um I'm so sorry, Kave. With the limited amount of Hydra characters we have, I just, I just can't, I just can't do it. Especially with like how the requirements are in this chamber, I gotta go like a variation of my like disgusting team, okay? Plus, we have Tartalini Man, um, who can take care of the ranged guys. If so. I uh, don't think that's going to work either. Okay, so the unfortunate thing is I have to run Al Haytham in the second half here. This is our only hope that we have here. Um, wow, I don't know why I didn't think I had these set up, but this is what we're going to try now. And like, rely on Hyper Bloom? I guess. I guess Hyper Bloom? Alright, we'll see. Thanks. Remember, health comes first. Wait to the wicked. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, gamers. That was pretty smexy, huh? What the hell is this team? Um, I may have found my new favorite team. Wait to the wicked. Excuse me. That was pretty incredible. Okay. Well, I guess we found our new teams for Spiral Abuse. Okay. You know what? This can work. This can work. Hey, you know what? That worked pretty well. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. This is looking pretty good. You know, uh, Electro Traveler needs a little bit of help, but... I think that was good. Honestly, pretty good. Um, still wish I had a built Albedo, but it's fine, actually. 
So let's uh, do this one. What is this one again? Oh, the big guys. Gotcha. Break forth. Flames purge. Flames purge. Remember, health comes first. Flames purge. Flames purge. Yo, that was so good. I think I figured out a little bit of that rotation, but either way. Okay. All right, that was a little dicey, but I did it. It was, it was just dicey, just a tiny bit. Mostly energy is my concern on that chamber. Okay, burst damage. Oh gosh, yeah, this is the, this is the big one. All right, wish me luck, gamers. Taking a turn for the better. This will be frozen. Wait to the wicked. Could you, would you, remember, help. Very good. Gears. This isn't looking very good. This is even worse than the last time. It's because I have no grouping. Like, that's the issue, is grouping. I'm disappointed, but I don't think we can do it again. My my only Nils teams just aren't good enough, and we don't have a single animal character that will be good enough to group for us. It was starting to set in that something was wrong. Baiju and Kave should have added more possibilities for me, but now I felt I was limited. If some of you know what it is, keep it to yourself for later. The sad thing is, this team could honestly make it. Yeah, that is so sad. If I, like, properly tried, this team could have made it. Alright, well, I'm just gonna deal with that. It just, it sucks. This abyss is just poopy garbage. Like, what else would I need in this chamber? Like, you just need grouping in this chamber. And, like, yeah, I could have done something with, like, um, permafreeze and, like, keeping them together with Kaya, but even then I don't know, like, if it would work. I would maybe try it again if I had my Baiju on Sacrificial Fragments, because I, I was thinking of an idea, Xingqiu, Child, and Kaya, alongside an Elemental Mastery hybrid uh, Baiju so that he would be buffing his own reaction damage and then just have a lot of blooms going on. I'm thinking now. Excuse me? What? Traveler- Oh! 
he did it again. I don't know what he was doing with that stanky leg. Uh, what? You doing the pop and lock, sir? What you? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh damn! His idle animation ruined it. Sir, do that again. <laughs> He's literally taking a squat, popping a squat, dude. All right. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for that. Oh man, that was funny. Well, um, yeah. What do we have for this thing? Oh, hold on. It's stop, <laughs> sir. I would I would ask for you to stop. Oh yeah. <gasps> Wait a minute. That was for the lost prayer. Guys, wait a minute. I have an idea. Oh my gosh. We would be able to afford it. We would be able to afford getting this to level 90. Ho ho ho. All right, gamers. Um, let me time skip to the future. And with this, we've leveled the sacrificial fragments to 90. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is really good because this actually can uh, be put on Hazo and also can be put on Baiju. And I wanted to level this anyway since we got it to refinement 5 and we have two Catalyst characters who can use it. Um, granted, yes, the prototype Amber could be given to Hazo and we kind of got rid of our healing bonus hat. No, I don't think so. But it's, it's more so like I want to use this on Baiju and we're going to use it on Baiju right now and try this cheese strat out. Um, with this, we actually have a nice little 300 EM, and, uh, you know, I could steal this from Kave. Am I even going to use Kave? I don't think I am, so I could steal this from Kave as well. Um, yeah, perfectly. And we'll have him be on that hybrid set. Um, sure, he loses a lot of HP, but, um, I think it should be okay. I, I'm, I'm a tad worried, but only worried for a little bit of our healing. But uh, let's go in and try um, and see if the Chamber 11 will be nice to us. We're trying a Bloom Quadratic uh, Permafreeze kind of setup, and I think it'll work out. I think it will. Then, of course, I'm going to try this team as well. Um, I think it will work because uh, what was on this chamber? It was it was the Fatui guys. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Uh, let's try this, and I'll be right back on that chamber. So again, as I've hinted in this video, a lot of you seasoned Genshin players may have pointed out and realized that my Xingqiu is actually triggering a lot of blooms, and he is not built with elemental mastery. And I still didn't realize it when trying this run, so my blooms were doing very poopy amounts of damage. I don't know what I was expecting with an on-field Baiju here, when he applies a lot of Dendro as well, just like Kave. If I had Ayato instead of Tartman, then I could have done this without building Xingqiu with EM. But let's just see how this goes. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to uh, restart my chamber to show you that this Baiju build is really good. Um, especially with Permafreeze, um, it's really good. Like, just take a look. Let me lead you no, my sword. Frostbite. Instant skill proc. Like an and then boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's a lot of popping. Oh, there's a lot of popping. Oh, oh, they exploded from Tartaglia's burst. Or, not burst. The other thing. Yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. <laughs> That's really great. I will just realized, uh, unlike the Oceanid. Excuse me? Okay, well, he's on the ground. I don't know why, but unlike the ocean, I can actually ride uh, Albedo's elevator up to just smack these dudes. You know, I would love it if, like, somehow the boss arenas just didn't lock you out of Geo Constructs. Like, come on. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Alright. It's time. I don't know if I got my burst fast enough because I kind of forgot. But, so this might be a mulligan, we'll see. But, uh, let's try... This is a little rough on this half. I did kind of forget about these guys. Yeah, if they all were in this place, like right here, it would be okay. Hmm. Let me try again. I, I might have gotten unlucky, but we'll see. Hold on. 
Okay, this is what I was missing. <laughs> well, that's what I was missing, and then and yet I missed this, so that's great. Okay. And they're just stepping back from me. Enough, dude. Yes, these guys are also fully luck-based in terms of their positioning, but still, my main issue was with my character synergy, and Xingqiu not having enough elemental mastery to be considered useful in this team. So just so you know, I was arguing for sort of a good cause, but it was also incredibly luck-based to get this down right. At this point, I did several tries and I rage quit floor 11, so let's try floor 12. It couldn't get any worse, right? <laughs> All right. Let's attempt floor 12, and honestly, I just want to get through the first chamber, because if I can get through the first chamber, then, uh, we'll be okay. Honestly, I think we're just going to do this one, because, like, <laughs> might as well. Okay, that was embarrassing, so you guys probably won't see that, but let's see if we can get through these losers. Ow. A bitter pill to swallow. Gosh. Could I go? Thanks. Jeez. My tart. Uh, my tart literally does less damage than my Alhatham. That's insane. I mean, I knew that, but like, damn. Was it really that loud? I have like. <laughs> I have like no cooldowns. Like, I. I'm- I'm surviving solely because of Baiju, but I have like zero damage and zero anything. Which I know doesn't matter right now, because I just need to see how far I'll go. But it's just funny. Like, it's funny how actually egregious these chambers are. Goodness. Alright, let's see how the second half goes. This is looking kind of pathetic, gamers. Man, even with this weapon, Kave still doesn't have a lot of EM, which I know he's the only gender on the team. But you want to know something? Why does he have energy problems if he's meant to be the only dendro on the team? Yeah, gamers, I don't think we can do this. This is looking pathetic. And yeah, I know I could try a different team, like, uh, like, D-Luke or whatever. But I would bring D-Luke and Toma with Bennett? Like, no, that's too much pyro. Like, I don't, I'm, I just don't think it's possible for us right now to even do Floor 12. And I would rather not lose sleep over it, so I think we're just gonna leave it there. Okay. Again, gamers, if you have any suggestions, please make them kind suggestions. Please be nice in the comments and um, let me know uh, what kind of strats I could use. Could use. Not something that I will use or will even attempt Spiral Abyss for that matter. Like, that's the thing. I don't think I want to lose sleep trying this Spiral Abyss because it's just ugly. It's just ugly ugly. Like, why would I even want to attempt this on only males? I would love to attempt this on my main, doing an only males on my main. So, uh, check out my Twitch, I guess, um, if I'm streaming right now on Wednesdays or Fridays to see if I'm gonna do that on one of these days, which I might, because I have C6 Baiju, and I can do one half with all Baiju, but I won't do that. I'll actually make some fun Baiju teams on my main. But anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for only males. Um, god damn it. I don't know how much footage you saw, but, um, yeah, that kind of sucked. All right, gamers, that's going to be it for me today. I'm tired and underwhelmed and disappointed. I would say Only Males has a long way to go, but I don't think that's the case. We just need key players, and those key players are literally Kazuha and then Zhongli. Like, I promise you, once we get those two, we will have a better standing. And then another Hydro, like Ayato, or Hydro Traveler, whoever will come first, who knows. Um, so yeah, those are our target priorities for Only Males, and I will be saving up for them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we have Baiju and Kaveh now. 
So at least future Spiral Abysses that are not made this ugly will be easier. So anyway, take care everyone. I'll see you in a different video, whether it will be only males or not. So I'll see you then. Bye yo. But it does not end there. With my new epiphany of a knowledge, I built up my Baiju again and put Xingqiu on an Elemental Mastery build, even putting Goro's Elemental Mastery shielding pieces on Albedo so he can buff the Alhatham team with Noblesse and have a little bit of shielding utility. Nothing could get in my way now. Just a few more tries. See, didn't I tell you that this team, this team with Al Haithman here, is my new strongest team? <gasps> yeah. You saw that Mirror Maiden get deleted. And the Permafreeze Bloom team really worked. I had to get really lucky, and granted, I actually only did this like three separate tries on the Black Serpent Knights, but I actually did it. I actually did it. With. The, um, with the Baiju on Sacrificial Fragments, my Xingqiu with 600 EM, and, uh, I was a little bit worried because I wanted to use, like, an Energy Recharge Kaya, but it worked out anyway. And, you know, Tartman, he also came in real clutch. I was debating on whether I wanted to bring him or D Luke, but Tart really came in clutch to just kind of switch in draw them all in with a veridescent hunt and then just kind of slice away quadratic it's just it was just so good i'm very pleased um it's gonna be a nightmare to reproduce that one final time <laughs> when the reset of the abyss is like towards the end of the patch but i'll make sure i do it and at least i found good teams that can do it oh <sighs>
Well, that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. We finally were able to beat 11 with triple stars. I don't even want to try 12. We're not trying 12. Maybe we'll try it at the end of the Spiral Abyss when it goes away and resets, but otherwise I'm done <laughs> with Abyss. So I will see you later, gamers. Bye-o.